hope you all are doing great. Uh, so today's reading is um, who misses you and hopefully we'll get some messages on why they are missing you at the moment as well and whether or not they will come forward let's see and you know hopefully some signs will come through as well and I am just waffling <laughs> so yeah today's reading is who misses you and we have three groups for you to choose from one two and three if you do want to pause the video so you can take a moment to choose your group feel free but i shall see you all in your readings hi welcome to your reading if you have chosen the first group then this reading is for you i will start off with your tarot card so who is missing you and then hopefully we'll see a bit later why they are missing you okay so who is missing you first off we have eight of swords reversed queen of wands in reverse uh the chariot in reverse and the three of pentacles upright Sorry, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna finish this coffee one moment. <laughs> okay, so this person that misses you, they are a very confident and outgoing person. It feels like some of you here could actually consider them uh, too confident for some reason, um, but they are someone who loves their freedom. Um, but they could actually be in some type of serious commitment whether this be like marriage or another type of serious commitment but it does feel like for some of you they could actually be married um i don't want to say it again but another serious type of commitment um anyway so this person they are romantic as well um this is someone you are close with as well you could be still close with them even though this person misses you you know and although you may be friendly with them it feels like you don't actually get on with this person or you just they're maybe they're not your type of person or you just don't like them like that uh, but yeah it feels like this is someone who isn't easy to control but it feels like you like you specifically actually do a good job taking control of situations that involve them so i don't know if you can necessarily you know control them in a way but uh yeah maybe maybe you do it better than others you know but yes they don't like to be held down this person they are quite controlling themselves actually uh they are someone who loves to help when or if they can uh, for some of you here and like they might get in the way a little bit when they do that but you know they could love to help regardless um or for some of you they could just be this th that way with you you know and you could have had to heal from this person in some ways but i don't get the feeling that you hold this against them or you know maybe not anymore but they are someone who likes to take charge they can be a bit overbearing at times it feels like they are you know quite friendly as well but a lot of people may not actually get that impression of them or right away at least but yeah this is someone that definitely thinks highly of themselves too um, but they can be, you know, manipulative. For some of you, this person could definitely be considered lazy, either to you or other people. Um, but I don't know, because it does feel like there is this hardworking energy here for them as well. So I don't know, maybe they're lazy in comparison to maybe yourself or, you know, what you or other people may typically, you know, describe as hardworking. I don't know, but it feels like there is this hardworking energy about them at the same time. Um, but yes, 
but it, it, it feels like So for some of you here, no, I need to stop saying that. So this person, it feels like they have a jealous streak as well. It feels like you actually see this person as having little confidence, even though they come across as having a lot of confidence. It feels like you see through that. This person, they're quite protective of themselves as well. They aren't very adventurous. Uh, they're quite vain as well. Uh, loud when speaking this person they are really pushy though aren't they like it feels like some of you here find this person very very pushy or they have been that way with you in the past or you know like i hate the saying is coming to my mind but like a dog with a bone you know for some of you you could uh what are we talking about you could perceive them that way okay uh but yeah but this person, they could be at like a chill point in their lives where they don't really feel the need to work a lot or they don't really feel the need to be, you know, super ambitious. This is someone you work with or someone you used to work with in some capacity, whether it's, you know, like in an actual job or institution or whether it was like in university or I don't know, um, Maybe you help this person clean their car, I don't know. But yeah, it feels like you have worked with them at some point, you know, with something. Um, but yeah, they could be actually quite committed to you, this person. It feels like they are actually quite dedicated to you also. And uh, they are someone who needs a lot of attention. It feels like they had a lot of goals, maybe a lot of different goals. Oh, wait, hold on. They don't stick to all of these goals, but <laughs> but they have seen a few of them through, right? No? Okay, maybe not actually for some of you, but only take that one if it resonates, okay? Uh, but yes. Uh... Hmm. Okay, so this could also be someone you want to collaborate with or in the past you wanted to collaborate with them and you know you know again this could be work related a project it could be signing a lease together you know it could be collaborating you know many a different ways but yeah this is someone that you could have wanted to collaborate with at some point i'm sorry i get very distracted sometimes anyways uh, but yeah, this person, they are a bit of a perfectionist as well. They could be quite humble and down to earth too, in certain ways. So yeah, this person, they could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces. Do you have any more? What? A Sagittarius is what I was also, what's coming out. Do you have any more? Is it? Yeah, that's all I have uh, as for signs. Um, but yeah, let's see what else we got in terms of who this person is that misses you. So we have here discreet. So this person is definitely not discreet. <laughs> In a general sense, it does feel like it is more so related to something specific. It could be um, what? What was? It could be in terms of like their plans. 
What was it? It was something else. For some of you, it could be their money, like things they're passionate about. Maybe even their relationship or the way they like do certain things. But yeah, they could be discreet in some way, but it doesn't feel like they are discreet in general though. So we also have independent. Yeah, that a similar message came out earlier, didn't didn't it, about this person liking their freedom. So yeah, this person could be quite independent. Uh, they appreciate their independence, you know, and yeah. And we also have relaxed, very nice. So yeah, the person who misses you, it feels like, I don't know if they're like a relaxed person in general, but it does feel like they are at a more relaxed point in their lives, you know? Wait, hold on, one, two, three, okay. Okay, so embrace your wild side. Um, what are we doing again? Okay, who misses you? Oh my gosh, who misses you? Yeah, so the person who misses you is someone that embraces their own wild side. We have here dog, be your own best friend. Yeah, so this person, they could definitely be their own best friend. Like maybe, you know, they like to go out by themselves. They like to do certain things solo. Um, it, they could even make themselves laugh, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, they could be their own best friend, this person. We also have divine intervention. Hmm. Okay, so the person who misses you, they could be quite religious as well. We also have stress reduction. Yeah, it feels like they're at like a simpler time in their lives where they're looking for more, you know, more contentment. Where they're kind of just looking for more chillness, less stress, you know. It, it feels like they're, you know, at that place in their lives or it could just be a conscious, you know, decision on this person's part, um, part, you know, regardless of whether they're young or older. Um, but yeah, it feels like they're at this resting stage in their life. Maybe they have something to rest from. Maybe they have something to recover from. But for others of you, it's just like, uh, you know, they're just not very ambitious or they choose not to be, you know? But anyways, do you have more from this card? Okay. So why do they miss you? So they miss you because they feel like they had this instant connection with you, you know? This person, they also feel quite protective over you. I don't know, for some of you, this person could be like an ex-lover. At first, I was getting like family vibes, like a parent or grandparent or something like that. But I don't know, for some of you, it could uh, definitely be, uh, you know, a, a romantic person, like ex-connection. I don't know what you would call it, but yeah. Do you have more from this card? One second. So this person also misses you because they want to talk to you. But for some of you, it feels like there could be like th this conflict in what they want to say to you, you know. So, yeah, there's that as well. Oh. So we also have breaking cycles. Meow. 
All right, so yeah, this person misses you because we have the judgment card and we have the empress. It, it feels like because you've broken a certain cycle with this person, like maybe it was quite repetitive, maybe it was like on and off again, or you know, negative and positive, or um, I hurt you, you hurt me. I, I don't know, but it feels like there was some type of cycle that was just getting so freaking boring with this person. And it feels like you broke free of that cycle. And this is a part of why they miss you. You have more from this card okay so we also have shadow work okay if any of you resonate with having a dark sense of humor that is why they miss you they miss um that i don't know if any of you consider yourself quite dark people in general uh you know not in a negative way at all um, but yeah, this person, they, they miss that. They miss that energy from you, you know? Okay, so we have, tell me what it's going to take to make you mine. Why do they miss you? Okay, yeah, so for some of you here, Four of Cups came out to clarify. This person could actually miss you because their life could be low-key, like a little bit boring without you in their lives and um yeah it feels like they miss you because they want you in their life you know it, it feels like they really enjoyed the conversations with you or they just like talking to you do you have more from this card so we also have is it bad that i've never made love um what was your end? okay why do they miss you okay i don't know this is good this i don't know how else to describe it but this is how it's coming out but for some of you here this person misses you because you aren't all ooey gooey and i don't know what that means okay And this doesn't even feel like, oh, you're not someone who's romantic. Like, it's specifically coming across as ooey gooey. Let me see. Okay, you could just, like, leave that message alone if it doesn't make sense to you. But if it does, then that is why they miss you, okay? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. No, that's not it either. For some of you, it could be that you're not sentimental. <laughs> but please only take that if it makes sense. Okay, talking about not being good at the ooey gooey, <laughs> we have, I'm not good at this lovey dovey ish. So why do they miss you? Hmm. I don't know. Some of you is coming across as um uh I cannot remember as uh they miss you because you're not good at being sentimental. Maybe, I don't know if they like find it amusing or it, it it touches them in some way. But yeah. So we also have I know. <laughs> so this person they miss you because you just know stuff um wait hold on do you is there more wait hold on okay okay so they miss you because to them you were like their psychic you know that they could just you know be around maybe talk to you get advice from i don't know but it feels like you were this person psychic and <laughs> that's why they miss you it's like they miss your intuition they miss your knowing as well do you have more for this Okay, so for some of you here, they also miss you because in their perspective, 
they know a lot about you and maybe they they like that you know <laughs> okay so we also have i'm not gonna lie i'm a little jealous didn't didn't a message about jealousy come out earlier or was that a completely different reading Why do they miss you? Okay, and again, if this resonates, this person misses you because of the way um, you got jealous at certain things. But for others of you, it's definitely the other way around and they miss you because, you know, they're jealous. Let me see, jealous of what? Jealous of you having options of you moving forward in your life, exploring your potential, following your dreams, you know, uh, clarified by the Seven of Cups, Page of Cups. Yeah. Uh, for others, they're je like they're jealous because you seem to be in a happier, uh, maybe more playful even energy, you know. And maybe some of you have also heard good news, too, which is could also be a source of their jealousy. We have, you are so fudge and sexy. <laughs> Why are they jealous? Okay, so this is coming out as other people finding you attractive. No, we're not doing why are they jealous? Why do they miss you? Yeah, so they, they miss you because you're very attractive and Queen of Cups came out to clarify, you know, they could definitely find you very beautiful. It could be your emotional maturity, your independence even. Um, but yeah, they find you incredibly attractive, you know, even if uh, you don't resonate with this being like in a romantic way, like say for example, it's, if it's like a family member, you know, they still find you attractive, they still find you like having a lot of desirable qualities, you know, it doesn't have to be in a, in a sexual way, do you know what I mean? But anyways, okay, finally we have Just Friends. <laughs> That's funny, when that card came out, I heard, like, that's why they're mad. Um, but yeah, so, why do they miss you? Uh, five of Swords again. Hmm, mm -mm. Okay, so yeah, they miss you because they miss your friendship and it feels like an injustice to this person, actually, that you could be a bit, um, let me see, maybe distant from them. I don't know if that's the right term. Or maybe simply just not close anymore and that things have changed between the two of you, you know? Um, but yeah, that is all I have for this group. I do hope it could make sense. I do hope it could resonate and be helpful. Oh, wait, hold on. But yeah, this person could potentially reach out to you soon. At first, it was clarified with the Seven of Swords, and then it was clarified by the Nine of Swords, both in the upright. Um... So yeah, they could end up telling you about like certain things that have been going down in their life. It doesn't feel like the most pleasant things. But for some of you, I'm also getting the message that they may try to start trouble with you for some reason as well. But yes, that is all I have. I do hope it could make sense, uh, resonate or not, and be helpful, okay? Please take care of yourselves. Bye. Hello, welcome to your reading. If you have chosen the second group, then this reading is for you. Uh, we'll start off with your tarot card. So who is missing you? And hopefully we'll get some messages towards the end as to why they're missing you, okay? 
so we have two of wands upright temperance in the upright ten of swords upright and the nine of wands okay You know, I'm actually hearing that song officially missing you and I didn't hear that for the first group so for some of you here um, maybe I don't know maybe there's some like message in that song and I, I is it simply oh. but anyways okay <laughs> so who is missing you Okay, anyway, so this is someone that you actually want to move forward with or in the past you wanted to move forward with this person and it didn't work out between the two of you and it feels like you haven't fully moved on from this person yet. Uh, they could be in your life still, but not physically. I don't know if this is like in your head, your energy, maybe you see them around as well but i don't know it doesn't it doesn't feel like they are currently you know like a significant part of your life you know it feels like you could actually love this person but at some point you had to come to a decision whether or not uh they could be emotionally available for you or about maybe keeping your independence or you know continue you know maybe taking another path Oh yeah, two of wands. Yeah, maybe taking another path or, you know, focusing on your family or focusing on your emotional, well, your well-being in some way. But it feels like you actually, you know, decided to come to a decision in regards to this person. Are they right for me? Is it the right time? Should I wait for them? Should, you know, they wait for me? Um, but yeah. But it feels like this person who misses you, they have been in and out of your life. They could have actually made a sudden disappearance in your life. Um, maybe not recently, though. But it feels like you wanted this person to be free. And uh, yeah, they could have migrated at some point in their life as well. Well, yeah, this is someone who makes you feel, uh, I was going to, I was going to say comfortable, but confident wanted to come out. So for some of you, it could definitely be confident and this person makes you feel very confident. But for others of you, it's that they make you feel comfortable. But it feels, it definitely feels like you miss this person too, but not as much as they miss you. <laughs> so this person, they are big on family. Um, it feels like it feels like you had to wait for them or you were very patient with them in general if you weren't waiting for them in any way. But it feels like they too are a patient person. It feels like this person is non-argumentative but confrontational. Definitely not all of the time, though it doesn't feel like they walk around looking for confrontations, you know. Um, but yeah, this person is a soulmate of yours, uh, someone that maybe you consider to be a soulmate or someone that maybe has, you know, vocalized to you that they think you're their soulmate, you know, um, but yeah, I don't know if you know this or not. What you made or make this person feel very comfortable and at peace with themselves. You make them feel really calm, you know. And this person, they could be, you know, high maintenance in some ways, but it feels like they're pretty chill, you know. And if it's not high maintenance, it could just be high standards. Like maybe I'm a perfectionist in myself, you know. Um, 
and I'm not sure if high maintenance and high standards actually means the same thing. Anyway, so it feels like you and this person balanced each other out uh, and you were are compatible with them. It feels like this person is quite sweet and practical. They are expressive and emotional as well. It feels like this person will reach out to you very soon. I have to say it does feel like that. You know, but with this heavy energy, actually. But again, I don't know if that's something they're currently going through. Let me see something. I feel like, yeah, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and what's that underneath it? The um, Hanged Bunny, okay? So Knight of Pentacles, the Hanged Bunny, what's like the, the Hangman? It's like patience, sacrifice, waiting, right? And limbo kind of energy. Um, not being able to move, not being able to change at this time. And then we have Knight of Pentacles, like the slowing night. The slowing night, oh my gosh. The slowest night in the deck, you know? So... Um, yeah, it, it could take a minute, basically, until they reach out to you. But it feels like something they really do want to do. So for some of you here, this person, they could be family or like family. I, I don't feel, I don't know if that's for everyone, but for some of you, uh, maybe you met their family, maybe they met your family, or do you know how like even though you're not related to someone, they still kind of feel like safe, like family, you know? Maybe you feel like you could be yourself around them the other way around. Um, but yeah. So this person, they are also responsible and it feels like they take on a lot. You could have cut ties with them at some point as well. It feels like they are very tired and drained in their lives currently. Um, it could be that they always seem or are exhausted. Maybe not always, but you know, a lot of the time. And it feels like you definitely experienced an ending with this person that hurt. But it doesn't feel like they betrayed you or anything or you betrayed them, you know. And um, it feels like in the last few years, actually, that this person has experienced a lot of downs, you know, some kind of downfall. It could be, um, you know, mental health related for some of you guys. But it feels like they did experience a rock bottom, unfortunately, and a really low period, you know. Uh, but yeah, this person who misses you, it feels like they're quite a strong person. They could be physically strong, mentally or emotionally, maybe all of the above, you know. But but again, you know, it feels like they are really drained and they are or were uh, quite persistent with you. Or they could just be a persistent person in general, you know. And it feels like you were quite guarded with this person at some point or maybe initially. And they, it feels like they've been a serious victim to something in life, you know, or maybe like something specific, like a car accident or, you know, it, it just feels like something happened maybe suddenly. Um, not for everyone, but. But yeah. Anyways, um. But yeah, it does feel like they have been a serious victim in some way. And it doesn't feel like they've actually overcome it yet. It feels like they are still carrying that hurt of what, you know, what, what they were a victim to, unfortunately. So yeah, again, that could be a, a reason for the slow moving energy and, you know, uh, stuff like that. But yes. So this person, they could be Cancer, Aries, Libra, Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces. Do you have more signs? Oh, signs. 
Get warm. Taurus. <laughs> it's funny because this voice was like you're missing an earth sign, and then the Queen of Pentacles came out to clarify. It's quite funny. Um, but yeah, anyways, moving on. So, who misses you? We have subservient. So for some of you here, they could be quite immature or they could just be, you know, just not as experienced as, as some, <laughs> you know. Uh, but yeah, and uh, what else is coming out? So for some of you here, um, they could be subservient to someone in their life. Like, you know, again, it does say, I think the message earlier came out, like they're a big, um, like family person. So... Maybe, you know, they could be quite subservient to their family or, or grandparents or, you know, parents or older siblings or something like that. Um, or for some of you, a boss, they could be subservient to. Should I say that though? Okay. Anyway, so we have here Fearless. Oh, okay. Let me see. Okay, so this person could be quite fearless. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't know if it's like jumping off a building kind of fearless or, uh, you know, talking in a crowd type of fearless or taking on a leadership position kind of fearless. I don't know. It could be in many different ways, really, isn't it? But um, yeah, this person is quite fearless. OK, we also have busy. Yeah, it does feel like they are quite busy. It feels like they have a lot, unfortunately, going on. But yes. Okay. Ooh, so we have his celebrity and we also have alien. Let's see. Okay, so the person who misses you, they're like a little hood celebrity, okay? <laughs> they're, they're someone, they are either like, you know, popular in some way, like say for example, at their workplace, it can be quite popular. Uh, maybe with their family and friends, they're quite popular. But for a lot of you here, it actually feels like a lot of people could find this person actually quite desirable and they could be quite a celebrity in that way, okay? The part, uh, okay, do you have more from this card? Okay. Um, so, alien... Okay, so this person who misses you, there's something incredibly unique about this person. So whether it's like the way they dress, their hair, the kind of music they're into, or maybe they're kind of just very... You know how like sometimes you could maybe like look at someone and, you know, think they're like this, they're like this, they're like this. But in reality, they're, they're completely just, you know, weird, quirky, amazing people, you know. <laughs> so for some of you, um, you know, they could be very unique in certain ways, you know. Do you have more from this card? Okay. Let me see. <laughs> All right. So we have here deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from the past experiences and you're willing to devote time and energy toward a therapeutic care. Okay, so I don't know if this person goes to therapy, but it feels like some of you here, this person who misses you is someone that you actually believe needs to go to therapy, you know, or you just feel like they, they could definitely benefit from it, you know. Hmm. 
Mm-mm. Do you have more phones? Oh, okay. So we also have increased support. Your focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. Crazy. So I'm getting two different messages for this card. For some of you here, this is someone who definitely needs more support in their lives. But for others of you, this is someone who's maybe supported you in some way, you know, whether it was, you know, vocal um, or, you know, financial. But it feels like this is someone who has supported you in some way, okay? So now let's see, all right, if we can find out why they miss you okay so we have fudge me now <laughs> so why do they miss you okay so if any of you ever you know have had sex with this person been intimate with them in some capacity they definitely miss that <laughs> for some of you i know this sounds a bit cheeky but you know depending on who, you know like say okay so if you resonate with this being like someone that you saw in a romantic way then um this person misses the fact that they missed an opportunity to get closer to you in an intimate way if you know what i'm saying wink wink so yeah they they uh yeah they could definitely miss that or they miss the potential of what was between you both you know so we also have here opportunist So this person misses you because they, they they see you as a bit of an opportunist but this is okay so this was clarified by the seven of cups then the judgment card then the eight of pentacles this is in a way where you're like very hard working if you have you know seven of cups energy if you have a dream you're going to follow it maybe you know your potential is limitless you or you're someone who kind of sees your options as limitless it's like if i have an idea i'm going to do it you know if i want to take up this or take up that and do it all at the same time then i'm going to do it you know so for some of you they definitely miss that energy about you where you kind of just do make the most out of op opportunities and you're just very passionate and you kind of just go for it you know and yeah they, they miss that about you for sure oh okay so we have you're so awesome you're so pure where did they make you at Why do they miss you? So they miss you because you're unique, you're awesome, and there's this innocence to you that they they haven't seen anywhere else, you know, or not to not how you do it, basically, you know, and um, they love that about you, they miss that about you as well. Do you have more? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we have I miss you. I miss you because I miss you, damn it, okay? Should I just leave it like that? Yeah, so yeah, okay. Next message. We also have don't take it personal. Okay, so this person misses you at, because you didn't take them seriously. Or not even that. It's like you didn't take something they did or, or do personally. Like, say, for example, they carried themselves in a certain way or they talk in a certain way or, you know, maybe they have a certain job or I don't know. But it feels like something that is very much a part of who they are. Um, it's like you didn't take it personally like say for example I always have to work you didn't take it personally if I you know 
I don't know, like have weird habits, <laughs> you know, um, and you, you don't take it personally and they, they like it. They miss that, okay? They miss how easy... Wait, hold on. We don't just want to throw out things, do we? <laughs> no, easy is not the right word. I want to take that word back, okay? Because I was just waffling, okay? <laughs> uh, anyways. Okay, so for some of you, actually, they could actually miss the fact that you are quite easygoing. We need to talk. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know if this is a... It's a okay, so they miss you because they want to talk to you. Two of Cups came up to clarify. So they could want to talk to you about a relationship, uh, maybe your connection with them. Soulmates, again, you know, they could want to talk to you or, you know, maybe tell you that they do think that you two are soulmates in some way as well. Do you have more from this card? Page of Swords came out. So it feels like they really want to talk to you about something. It definitely feels specific. Ten of Cups came out to clarify. So first Two of Cups, then the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they could just want to talk to you about their, their feelings. So we also have trauma, unfortunately. So this person, they don't miss you because they are, you know, dealing with trauma. Maybe for some of you, what they've been through in some way, it has affected them, the way they move, you know, as certain things do. And it feels like you didn't take this personally and they could have really loved that or loved that about you or really loved you for it. OK, um, but yeah, they so they don't miss you because they are going through trauma, but they do miss you because it's like they want to spend like you could just be a beautiful face you know or a beautiful company uh in the midst of you know maybe some dark things that they could potentially hopefully not be going through you know um but yeah And for some of you, they definitely want to talk to you about what they have been going through as well. And that it could be another reason why. They, I don't know if that's a reason why they miss you, actually, but it is something they want to do. Or it, it makes them miss you more not being able to talk to you right now, you know, or talk to you about something serious that they could be going through for whatever reason. So we also have I was wrong. So this person, they miss you because they realize that they were wrong about what? About you, but about what? Six of Wands reversed. Um, uh, for some of you, they, they, uh, they miss you because they realize they were wrong for not appreciating you. Hmm. is that all okay and not being more passionate with you as well Ooh. so we have dreamer Okay, so this is actually coming out as this person dreaming about you a lot. And that is another reason why they miss you, because they do keep dreaming about you, fantasizing about you as well. Um. Hmm. Okay. 
and finally we have whipped cream plus your nips equals yum so why do they miss you So yeah, they miss uh, being intimate with you. For others of you, they just miss the chance um, that they could have had to be intimate with you, you know? Um, but yes, that is all I have for this group. I do hope it could resonate. I do hope it could make sense and be helpful. Um, but I am wishing you all the best, okay? Please take care of yourselves. hey welcome to your reading if you have chosen the third group then this reading is for you okay so who misses you and then hopefully towards the end we'll get some messages as to why they miss you right now okay ace of wands upright king of swords reversed five of pentacles reversed and the world in reverse okay So this person is someone who has great ideas. They are considered very fun, but not necessarily outgoing by nature or just not at the moment. This is someone that you want to have a new beginning with. They are fiery. They are rebellious. It feels like this person, they are... I'm sorry, you can't even see the cards. Like, what just happened? Did my camera fall or something? Or did I put it there? I'm so sorry. Anyways. Um, God, that threw me off. Sorry. But yeah, this is someone that could have, could have, no, that did approach you first. Um, they are action oriented as well. They like to keep themselves very busy. Uh, they are very happy as well and positive around you. I don't know if they're like this all the time, but around you they are very happy and very positive. It feels like you live at a distance from this person and um, you may have to travel a considerable you know, amount of time to see them. I, you know, I don't know if 30 minutes is considerable or an hour or you have to literally jump on a plane. Like, I don't know, okay? <laughs> but I know it's different for everyone, so... Um, uh, like perception of time and what's considered long or not but anyways yes so this person could be at some type of distance from you it could be emotional even or physical because uh, we just said that anyways for some of you this could be currently or like in the past you had to maybe travel a fair bit to see them it feels like you could have worked with this person as well maybe on a project it feels like they're very talented in some way as well. Uh, they could be a parent even for some of you. It feels like they're quite a challenging person though. It feels like maybe you find them challenging actually. Do other people find them? Maybe not necessarily other people. So I don't know. Maybe maybe the type of dynamic that you had with them made them challenging. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So yeah, you could have reached out to this person recently, actually, for some of you. Or maybe you thought about it, actually. It feels like you were quite generous with them, too. But yeah, this is someone who isn't afraid to take risks um, or to take on a challenge and, you know, up for almost anything, you know. They move or they talk quite fast, but they aren't impulsive people, it feels like. So you could also, it feels like you could have had quite a bit of sexual feelings for this person. This person is independent. They are reserved at the moment, but it doesn't feel like they are someone who's typically reserved. Uh, this person, they could also be considered unemotional or you perceive them that way and uh, 
this is not for everyone but for some of you here this person used to be in the military or or they could carry themselves in that way you know in that i i don't i don't you know everyone's different so let me let me find a proper word for some of you rigid could be a good word or to describe this person okay i'm not saying whatever you know anyways <laughs> so yeah either this person was in the military or uh yeah they carry themselves that way so yeah this person they are or were very protective of you they are quite hard as well this person and it feels like you're quite cold with this person maybe in general or at the moment other people have told you that this person is manipulative or they're manipulating you about something and it feels like this person is just like not as empathetic as people would like them to be uh, they are quite competitive though and uh, you could actually be quite judgmental of this person it feels like you don't speak to this person um, or you speak to them very you know very little so this person is either aggressive or they get angry uh, easily or quickly it's basically the same word isn't it It feels like for some of you, I don't know if this is for everyone, but they could be recovering currently from an addiction or maybe they are already like a recovered addict, you know. Uh, but yeah, they could also be recovering in life in different ways as well, like say, for example, financial or in terms of their home or making renovations i don't know but yeah they could be recovering uh maybe health even you know in general uh but yeah so this person they could be quite a positive person too and i, I don't know if i said something that kind of contradicts that earlier did i i don't know but anyways it's coming out as this person being quite positive it feels like you haven't moved on from this person and it feels like there, there is still like a lot of unfinished business between you and them, you know? Or you have moved on from them, but you still feel like there's unfinished business. So this person, they also make you feel anxious. This person isn't stubborn. I don't know why that's coming out like that, but yeah, they, they maybe aren't stubborn. Do you have more from these cards? <laughs> so they could be irresponsible or they just don't really like to take on responsibility or extra responsibility or responsibilities that they don't really deem as their own responsibilities, you know? Um, but anyway, so yeah, this person, they could be a Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, a Libra. So people could consider this person selfish. But yeah extravagant okay so that's funny because the nine of pentacles actually came out when i was trying to like get some more messages um so yeah they could find you quite no no this person who misses you they could be quite extravagant in some ways like you know say for example it's in terms of what they wear or where they live or you know maybe the, the quality of food or the type of food they eat who knows um but yeah there is this extravagant vibe to this person <laughs> it feels like you may not actually view this person as extravagant though but it feels like either this person views themselves as a, as extravagant or other people do like i'm hearing extra actually you know for some of you here so yeah 
it could be more so that this person is seen as a bit extra okay so we have thoughtful okay so there's a very specific message about you not seeing this person as thoughtful but other people do okay um but yeah and we also have non-competitive So this is someone who either didn't compete for you or they didn't fight for you in some way, okay? So we have email, be mindful of the messages you send. So the person who misses you is actually someone that held back when they spoke to you. They could be quite a cautious person as well. For some of you, I'm actually hearing you could email this person quite a bit. Um, Eight of Pentacles came out. So it, I don't know if it's like work related. Um, it could be other things as well, really, you know. Um, but yeah, this could be someone you do communicate with quite a bit through email. Do you have more? Yes, okay. So we have here falling, drop into the deep end of your soul. Okay, so this is actually coming out as this is someone that you were really falling for. But unfortunately, it didn't work out or maybe fortunately it didn't work out, you know, depending on your perspective, right? Um, but yeah. It, it does what are we talking about yeah this is it, this is someone that you definitely fell for so we also have spiritual or religious communicate oh my god community join with like-minded folk for friendship and increase spiritual growth okay so who misses you So for some of you, this person could be religious, but for others, it's actually coming up as this is someone who uh, is like a part of some type of community. Like, I don't know, like art, a community, for example, or, you know, one of those war communities where they like do reenactments. I don't know if I just like maybe watch too much stuff, um, but yeah, uh, they could be a part of some type of community though, okay. And we also have love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. So, yes, this could have been someone who was a part of your love life. Uh, tower card. But yeah, there could have been some sudden changes, like some sudden switch up in your connection. Um, but yeah. So who misses you? We have, okay, so yeah, I, I, I use these cards to see why they m may miss you. And if any like uh, romantic messages come out and you resonate with this person not being, um, someone you resonate with in a romantic way, basically, then just kind of remove those messages, you know? Um, but yeah, anyways, so why do they miss you? Because you were very comforting to this person. First the Knight of Cups came out and then the Ace of Cups came out. So I don't know, for some of you this could be a physical touch or it could just simply be proximity to you, like being in the same room. Uh, the emotional intimacy that we had together as well. They miss that. For some of you it's simply that they just miss seeing your face, you know? 
We also have Amores You Don't Feel the Same. It's coming out as this person misses you because they're worried you don't feel the same. But I, I don't know, in my head that doesn't really make sense. But it could make sense in someone else's, you know. Um, they miss you because they're worried you don't feel the same. But it's not coming out as this person misses you because they can't have you. Like, that's it. that's not a reason, you know. Oh. Maybe they miss you, but <laughs> they are worried you don't feel the same. Anyways, I'm going to move on. We also have this connection will forever affect me. Yeah, because they miss you again, Page of Cups. They feel deeply affected by you, by your connection. There's like some type of emotional uh, bond that you and this person have had and they miss that. You know, they miss the passion. For some of you, they miss your innocence. Like you could have been quite sweet to this person and they miss that. We also have why so serious. So they miss you also because you're serious. So I don't know, maybe it's a mixture of your innocence and maybe there's other times when you get quite serious as well. Or maybe you're just a beautiful blend of the two, you know, and they miss that about you. Maybe they miss that. Um, I don't want to even say it's a contradiction because people are allowed to have contradicting qualities, right? <laughs> um, anyways. So we also have uh, you are mine. Back off my babe. <laughs> Why do they miss you? Okay, so they miss you because they do feel quite, I want to say possessive over you. Like that's the word that came through. But for others, it could just be, again, a connection to you, a bond to you that they can't quite shake or you know get rid of or with the world card being in reverse you know again distance or you know bad timing or um i was going to say something else or you know unfinished business so it, it does feel like this person let me see something else. for some of you they still actually view you as uh, theirs maybe you are maybe you're in a long distance long distance relationship with this person maybe you know knight of pentacles came out maybe you're already committed to this person and um yeah that's why they miss you anyway okay we also have take the lead oh. okay so this person even misses you because you knew how to take initiative for some of you maybe you even allowed this person to take the lead uh with you but i don't know for some of you actually they miss you because let me see for some of you here they could have perceived you as like controlling but they actually miss that energy but yeah it feels like they really do miss your initiative though like that that message is coming out the strongest we also have i'm interested in someone else why do they miss you i'm sorry i don't know if this is like a bad thing but yeah this person misses you because um <sighs> let me see it because like you seem too independent to this person you know and uh it could it could worry them a little bit actually about how independent you actually are but for some of you here they could miss you because they feel like you are maybe interested in someone else or you're becoming more interested in someone else
We also have I am spying on you. Peekaboo. Uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah, why do they miss you? All right, so this person, they stalk you, right? And um, they check on you quite a bit, you know, especially if there is distance involved. Um, but yeah, either way, um, this makes them miss you more, basically, you know? We also have I Deserve Better. So this person, they also miss you because of your strength. They they saw that you realized that you deserve better whether it's better than them or you know other things in your life like they uh they they miss that about you okay and finally we have pillow talk so this person also misses communicating with you they miss talking to you as well but anyways that is all i have for this here group i do hope it could resonate i do hope it could make sense and be helpful but i'm wishing you all wait hold on let me see something actually okay so for the other two groups it was like pretty much a done deal <laughs> that this person would reach out to them for, but for this group i don't really know it's coming out as a no um maybe right now they're content to kind of sit back and just miss you or for some of you, uh, they feel like you're maybe quite isolated from them. Maybe they feel like you, you know, you're not, you're not really trying to talk to them, you know. But but um, but yeah. So for some of you here, they they may not reach out to you. Would they? But for some of you here, they will. Especially if you are an air sign. A fire sign and maybe a water sign but that's that's quite a lot of signs so anyways <laughs> but that is all i have for you i do hope you are um what am i even talking about i'm wishing you all the best okay have a good day take care